Hello everybody, welcome to another video. It's half six, nearly seven o'clock in the morning, Tuesday, three or four days before revival starts. I've come in this morning, turned the lights on, and just had a little minute of kind of, this really is the calm before the storm. I'm exhausted, but we've made it. We're not quite at Goodwood yet, so I can't say we're there, um, but we're at the next stage. I'm now in the hands of the transport and the good guys at Revival on the ground there who are going to actually sort of plant these where they belong like where you put the straps around them at the top it always sort of smudges the paint so I'm fully expecting them to get damaged I'm probably going to wrap them in pallet wrap to try and protect them here we go weeks and weeks of work for this moment That's the first three loaded. Now we're going onto the second truck because they're so heavy we can only put three on each truck. So I've had to get two trucks. This one hasn't got the crane though. So we're going up and over. And I know it looks stupid. <laughs> looks like we should have loaded this far one first, but it was all to do with, I think they parked up somewhere and it was on a break. So we couldn't move his van until his break was over. So we just decided to load the first one to do with their tacos and their timings and things like that. But the crane is so massive. We're going up and over onto the second truck with the last three. Dear me, there's so much time and effort and money hanging 20 foot up in the air. <laughs> There they go. That is a weird feeling. Seeing all that time, money, effort, mainly money, <laughs> just drive off like that. Oh, I wish it wasn't raining, but hey, oh well. I better get on the road and try and chase them down and get there before them. So I'll see you down there. Here we go, we've made it after a short trip around the racetrack. Two hours on the road in the rain. Thank you. All right, number two is coming off now. This is going to be the one for Heritage Skills Academy. Oh, oh it's so scary, isn't it? Jesus.
basically we can't get the truck across the grass to get it in where it needs to go so we're gonna have to leave it here for now find a forklift with some off-road wheels we can get in to get in that shed all right number three coming off the 50s hot rod oh god It's hopefully going to land there by that little hedge on the corner. Here we go, it's there. Diagonally on the corner. Next one coming down. How far over can you get it? It's an old taxi. Is it? Austin. It's an Austin? No, this is a Beardmore. They Beardmore? Oh, I've not even heard of that. In the 20s, but they went bankrupt in 66. And this is the oldest uh, Mark 7 Beardmore known. Well, there you go. And how much yeah. is the fare? How well, much? According to the meter, the fare's on that door. See the fare table? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, 3p, old p, for the first mile, isn't it? Oh, 3p. God, it's expensive. Dear me. You can pay that. I'll get that. I got my wallet. I'll treat you. Yeah, thanks. Aware that they're not parallel, but they're like wow, so you have to have your panel at an angle. That's what they need to just, yeah, yeah. you'd need loads of it's always, yeah, that's why the bolt, the bolt nuts and bolts on that is that so much is better. The best thing on that cradle, yeah. So there's a working one there, yeah. there's another working one up there at the Heritage Skills Academy that they're, they're demonstrating, okay. and then there's the four mad painted ones. Yeah. They're all dotted, you've got to find them, they're all dotted okay. around. Right, well, we're here, we've made it, Goodwood Revival. The Randlers are all here, all in position, and we're at the Revive and Thrive area. There's loads of different craftspeople, tradespeople, and a big stage at the end where I'm doing a few talks. Let's come and have a look around. You're obviously very talented. Does it take a long time? Uh, it depends. That one doesn't take me long, probably an hour and a half. But that no way. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Starting the business with the industry telling you no, the kids aren't interested, nobody wants to do it. Yeah. So actually go ahead and do it, 
that must have been a scary time. We do it through bloody liveness and uh, a passion for, for making a difference. They're working on um, example panels, they're working on um, projects that aren't going to go out to a customer. They're trying to keep it ingrained in them that if they were and held the standards they're working to at work, they need to be proud of what they're producing as well as their company um, being proud of what they're producing. I'm, I'm curious for the students, what's it like? being at the Heritage Skills Academy. What we're learning here, we're learning with the newest uh, wheels machinery um, and it's been taught by very good shooters that have plenty of experience and, and it shows. And when we're watching them, you know, while we're planning together something like that, we can really see um, how good they are. And it sort of inspires us to really sort of start creating that um, and take it on really. About 10 or 15% of the apprentices are female and they tend to be better than the lads. Which is, uh, which is quite fun to watch. They don't have a, a commitment from the employer, to, a guarantee to take them on at the end of the three and a half years, but we've never had an apprentice who wasn't taken on. Thank you so much, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hello there, what are the chances of getting a, one of your st uh, steak and Guinness? We're completely out of steak and Guinness. <laughs> there is no chance here, we got a little spicy Welsh on it. Yeah, we're having a lot, are you joking? <laughs> and that is the first talk done with the Heritage Skills Academy. Um, Dad, did you film it? Probably can't hear a word I'm saying now, we're right next to the racetrack. Terrible time to uh, come and talk to you, but... So far, so good. Russian military grade weather balloon. No. No, so how do you, can you say that, sir? True, true. Sir, yeah. I've seen some funny funny guy running around. That, that, weird looking that's eyes. The sergeant of the military. Is it? Absolutely. Is it? Yes. It looks like an alien. Well, how can you say what an alien looks like, sir? True. Why is there smoke coming out of it? Because it's landed. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it needs fixing, obviously. Obviously. Yes, so this well, is why the military here to take it away. I'll go and get my tools. I yeah. will do that, sir, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, we highly request to keep it moving. Right, we better go, Dan. Come on. Oh, they're fantastic. Thank well, they're you so much. I saw, I, I, every time I go past one, I see someone being photographed. So, someone, it's yeah, it's so lovely. Great. The best one is when they're seeing all the kids using the people yeah, using it's them. So great. There's two here that are working and people actually using them, and it's lovely Where to see. Where are the see. working ones? Uh, the Heritage Skills Academy. Oh yes, that's the one. And the yeah, yeah. Rolls Royce one. They're a couple of years of a lot of work to get them to this point to, to have a working machine. It's it's been a big a big thing. But so I'm I'm, I'm sure, no, you should be proud of. I'm it. flattered. 
So it's, these are the bare castings as yeah. they are, and then they come back to my workshop and there's a fair amount of work to sort of jig them up and fixture the, the axles and the wheels. They seem to have gone down so well. I'm really, really chuffed. Really so. people, people seem to love them, yeah. yeah. They, I think they be, and they've become... Um, it's lovely. Yeah, we've got to cover them again, I'm afraid. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we can, well, we're, next year can, we can do bigger and better. Gonna be yeah. a, they're going to be a standard thing. Yeah, because absolutely. Just, the way they, they sort of tell a story across the whole site yeah. is so nice. Can't yeah. thank you enough. I love what they're all doing. Can't thank, thank you enough. Keep thank doing you. it. Yeah. Thank you very much. And we'll see you, well, we'll see you with, with more next year. Absolutely. Day one at Goodwood Revival has been hectic. It's been so busy. I'm now back at the hotel, the sun's setting, it's the evening, I'm just sitting outside, having a quiet drink and just having a moment to myself. It's so busy, the Revive and Thrive area has just been buzzing all day. I've been popping in and out, we did a couple of, couple of talks, chatted to a lot of people and I've spent the day sending people in and trying to get create as much interest as possible. I mean, I've barely needed to. It's been packed all day, which is really rewarding after months literally months of work to get to this point of working on these ranellas painting them making the signs making the domes getting them here <laughs> actually getting them in position to see people enjoying them and sitting and having their kids sitting in front of them and, and taking photos and enjoying them and clicking on the qr codes to read the page that we'll put a link in the description uh, has been really really rewarding and the highlight for me today was seeing the apprentices from the heritage skills academy using the very first new ranella to make their streamlined body for that austin 7 and just chatting to them chatting to the apprentices chatting to their trainer chatting to grace who was actually teaching them how to use the wheeling on the course she's one of the tutors at the heritage skills academy getting some feedback from a few people I actually caught up with a few people about the ranella obviously we've been talking ranella all day it's been great I've learned a lot, spoken to a lot of lovely, lovely people, said hello to as many people as I possibly could, but I'm going to have a quiet evening, sit here and have my drink, have something to eat, and do it all again tomorrow. And I honestly cannot wait. We are going to go and see, first of all, the Setrington Cup, the f world famous J40 race, which is becoming more and more competitive every year. I don't know if that's more competitive now than the actual car racing. Also, the guys from the Austin J40 company have got the most amazing stand. I've seen it from afar. We've not been in there yet. So tomorrow we're going to go. I'm making a point that we're going to go in there, chat to the guys there. I'm going to finish my drink and get an early night. We'll see you in the morning. Henry. Oh, Didn't we see Henry earlier? He was over, the, he was over down the end. He was getting a beer, wasn't he? Yeah. 
He's getting a beer. That that over way. there, down that way, getting a beer. Yeah. Go this way. Yeah. This way. Yeah. We'll cut through that way. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Brendan. Okay. These machines built Spitfires and a lot of the coach built cars that are actually racing around the track. This, they're all made on these machines. This casting is cast by East Coast Castings up in uh, Norfolk Way. Um, they're one of the only foundries in the country that have the facility to actually cast. It weighs nearly a ton. The wheels, the axles and everything are made in the UK. This very local. Fantastic. Team of very talented people involved. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for sharing all this Good. with us. Fantastic. Have a great rest of the weekend. Thank you so much. You too. cars here but this one the, the lotus is in this are my absolute favorites i don't know why what it is about them but i think they're just awesome and the set of three lower wheels are there yeah they're not completely finished and few people i've met over the weekend have given me pointers and bits to sort of pick up on them. lovely cheers thanks so much lovely to be part yeah. of it so. i'm not going to tell you but my wife has got a different hero in this show is it will <laughs> <laughs> Right. I'm not talking yet. Uh, the whole idea is to just make the machines accessible to people. Donate them to, to colleges and people that teach it. And I'm trying my best to keep the costs as affordable as possible so that anyone that wants to learn the craft can actually get one. What is it about this specifically that's driving you forward? It's the, I think it's the love of heritage crafts. There are less and less people that can use them. As I say, it takes a good 20 odd years to be able to actually master using a wheeling machine and there's less and less people that can do it and they're all kind of winding down. There, there are people coming through, the Heritage Skills Academy are something that I work with quite closely and they teach it and they do an amazing job of teaching the apprentices how to do coach building, body building and making these amazing panels. And I'm just trying to do my bit to promote that, to encourage the kids of the next generation to, to get into it. Yeah, absolutely. I'm a big believer in keeping skills like passing it forward. And you sound so passionate. So I'm sure that's going to rub up on lots of other people who will be able to learn from you. Just because it's an old steel and an old bra, you could be making lighting installations, sculptures, art pieces, uh, a lampshade, a curved lampshade. With regards to the repair shop, who funds the activity? We get yeah, a PVC show, so we're, we're all the, the people that bring in the items don't have to pay. I hope that this this village that we've created here is an inspiring place. It's so nice to see it being so but it's a real buzz. Cross people everywhere doing things, demonstrating things, showing people, and there's little kids having a go at screen printing and doing all sorts of different things. It's it's amazing. This is a project I've been working on on my YouTube channel for the last nearly two years now. It's a very old machine from the 1930s, really. We're bringing back the name and bringing back the machines and trying to encourage and inspire people to have a go at the craft of wheeling and learn how to use these machines. First place is off. Oh, yeah. 
The original seat panel. Um, this is tooling that we've designed in house, uh, manufactured in house. In house. Yeah. So all that's been designed, all of that's machined. Been yeah. And what, that, the press to press that must be huge. Uh, we've got a hundred ton press. Wow. Hydraulic. Yes. Yeah. Hydraulic yeah. press. So that's an exact replica part yes. that would fit yeah. like for like on the J40. Yeah. You wouldn't yeah. be able to tell the difference. <laughs> Bear in mind, I've got a really rusty J40. Yeah. I can almost now. Can I get? everything I need from you, body panel uh, wise? Not quite everything. Almost. Um, body panels, not yet, um, but they're coming soon. Yeah. Uh, wheels, that's another project that's coming fairly soon. Yeah. Um, we do a solid wheel, um, but not the original three spoke. It's three spoke, yeah. pressed again, yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're, we're working on all of those. Love it. So you've, <laughs> you've got most of what I need, yeah. which is yeah. a really good start. And this is um, rack and pinion, rack steering. And pinion, yeah. This is machined out of billet. Love yeah. it. We machine everything, we machine this. Machine the gear, heat treat it, do all of that Perf, in house. All in house. Yeah. Am I right in thinking you've got the rights to the name now? Yeah. You are the Austin J40 yeah. official. Yes. So this this is going to be uh, very similar to what I've done with the Ranella. It's a kind of a continuation yes. replica. Yeah. Improved. Yeah. Here so and, on the outside, it's just exactly the same. Um, on the inside, it's a very different picture. The new. We, we want yeah. to just stay true to it, so it's got the same treadle system, same. Yep. The pedal assembly. Setup, yeah. Um, but, uh, but just upgraded so it's lovely and smooth. You know, we don't know how many people would put the, the whole new drivetrain in an original car, but there's lots of bodies out there with no parts. Exactly. Because yeah. people strip them out for, for parts. But it's so. nice to have the option. So you can, so basically you can offer all original parts, yeah. like re or replicas of yeah. the original. So you can restore your J40 yeah. as it would have been out the box, brand new, yeah. or you'll be able to hot rod it yeah. and put brand new, Steering. Yeah. Did, I, did I see a disc brake over there as well? There disc brake, yeah. Love it. Yeah. So good. So <laughs> good. good. Everything it's you're doing is amazing. Brake. This is an early axle, um, so it's got the flat front on it, so it's fit to early cars right. in the uh, Pathfinder. Um, this is the later axle, so it's much more shaped. It's got these. Yeah, I think mine's got that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll draw that up, 3D print it. That means we can fit it to a car, right. test it. You know, it's not strong, you can't use it. No. But you can but test it for fit. Um, once you've proven that 3D model. Once you've proven that, we can go to designing the tool, cut the tool, and do make, the pressing. Yeah. You, you know, we make slight improvements where we've put the D-shaped um, washer on it. Yep. But the original's just had a round hole, so the kingpin always Span, spun in there. Yeah. And that's what wears out, yep. the washer, not the kingpin. The one I did on the repair shop did that exactly that. Yeah. Yep. It's so Absolutely. small, I don't know how you'd even, I know you can wheel a panel, but that's tiny to yeah. do that. Yeah. Uh, we, we made a buck for him ourselves so we, we came up with a process right a wooden wooden buck or is it 3d printed uh, it's use of 3d printing um but we also use resin casting from 3d printing yeah yep. design it's got wood in it it's got metal in it a bit it's of got, everything yeah. but it works clearly because it it's yeah, yeah. Um, so this is going to be a complete car one day yeah all yeah. new running gear yeah all disc brake alloy wheels Aluminium, full aluminium body. Yeah, we'll have choice, choice on wheels. There'll be several different wheels. Different style from. of wheels. Yeah. 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 Um, same with the steering wheels. Um, yeah. Even the upholstery on yeah. the seat is fantastic. So it's just yeah. perfect. I love it. Now, cool. Thank you so much. Very welcome. Brilliant work you're doing. Thank, Thank you. you. Awesome.
this is without a doubt my favourite car. It's the same one that I saw at Vista Heritage, which again was my favourite car of the day. The Lotus, look at that. And first place on Matt Associated, James Hiller and George Thomas. But yeah, the cradle's got a pattern. There's a pattern for the part that goes in there. There's a core boxes everywhere for the holes. There's a huge amount of work involved. Well, that's it. Things are winding down. It's now the end of the day on the last day of Goodwood Revival. I'm absolutely knackered. It's been an absolute blast. Honestly, if you've never been, please just come. There is honestly something here for everybody. I think I'm gonna do one last walk around, have a one last mooch around and see if I can catch the last race. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Leave me some comments below. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Right, where's the beer tent? Let's get a beer. Yo, you know you've got, do you want to get on YouTube? You've not got a YouTube channel? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you watch the YouTube channel. Oh, right. <laughs>